now it's even better. vegetarian where we are going to tackle New Year's resolutions. Now for a lot of people the New Year is the time that we make resolutions to eat better, exercise more, and basically just take care of ourselves. So for a lot of people that means becoming a vegetarian or a vegan or incorporating more vegetarian and vegan options into their diet. So why not start the New Year's Eve party? Today we're going to make homemade tortilla chips and guacamole. First of all, get some whole wheat tortillas. Flour, soft. You're going to cut it into eighths in a pinwheel shape using a sharp knife or a bread knife if you'd rather. So many, so many. You're going to want to make sure that your oven is preheated to about 350 and these only need to cook for about 7 minutes on one side and I think 5 minutes on the other. Nailed it! Next we're going to mix a little lime juice in with our olive oil that we're then going to brush onto the tortilla strips. Get a lime, cut it in half, squeeze a little into your bowl, pour some olive oil in there, once you have the amount of lime and the olive oil required in the recipe that you can find anywhere on the internet, seriously, they are all over, you're going to lightly brush your triangles with the olive oil and lime juice mixture. Since I can't find my brush, I'm going to just use the tips of my fingers and lightly hand brush it on there. You don't want them too oily, you're trying to keep the calorie count down. You're going to layer these in a single layer on your cookie sheets. Mm. But you also want to make sure that they're not touching. Look, there's one whole sheet. If you are doing this with your hands, you will find that every single tiny paper cut you have accumulated over the last couple of days will be on fire. Now that my tortillas have been placed on all my cookie sheets, I'm going to season them with a little salt and a little chili powder just to keep things spicy. Just sprinkle it on there lightly. Next up is the chili powder and we're not done. Take your chips, put them in the oven. Set your timer for seven minutes. While your chips are baking, we're going to make the guacamole. So, first things first, you're gonna need a bowl to mix everything in. You want it wide enough at the base for your masher. You can also use a fork. Take your avocado, cut it in half to inspect it. Sometimes it's messy. Remove it from the peel into the bowl. Make it as messy as you want. Why do I end up with stuff all over my hands? I like to put more lime in here. Add some onion. I'm only going to use about a fourth of an onion diced. Just drop it in there. Save the rest of your onion for something else. Who knew? Besides, after they try this guacamole, probably your crush is going to be so into you anyway that they're going to kiss you no matter what because it's so good. Look, it has variations in the texture and color. I also like to add tomato. So we're taking a chance here on this little guy. Hopefully he's worth it. There's my timer, so now I'm going to get the chips out of the oven, flip them, and put them back in for five more minutes. Luckily, your guacamole will wait for you. Flip it. Now we're gonna place these back in the oven for another five to seven minutes, depending on how crispy you want them, how cold your oven is, and how dried out they're getting. Because these are not as crispy as I'd like them yet even for just the top side. That's fine, we can make it up on the back end. In the meantime, I'm getting back to my guacamole. So festive. Last, I'm adding some jalapeno. I'm only gonna include about half of my jalapenos. Add your jalapenos that are diced really tiny. 
Whatever you do after touching the jalapenos, do not touch your eyes. Whatever you do. Next, add some salt. Now it's time to get mashing. After you're done, take a serving bowl. Pretty. Use a spatula or a spoon and put your guacamole into your serving bowl. I like to add a little more lime on the top. Give it one last stir. It's delicious. Find a spoon to serve it with. Look how pretty. I also always like to include baby carrots because it's fun to always have leftovers that no one touches on your table. I'm so wet. Make sure to dry them before you put them on your serving plate. Perfect. Put everything on your serving plate. Look how pretty. Who wouldn't want to eat that? Yum. Maybe half a jalapeno was too much. Is that out of humor?